The 15 page notice of claim filled with extremely disturbing allegations, most notably that DCS placed the six year old foster child in a home where a convicted sex offender was on the record living. That sex offender then molested that young girl. The 12 News I team obtaining a notice of claim containing the bombshell allegations. This lawsuit isn't just about one child. It's trying to raise a flag and, and shine a light on all the other children that no one else is paying attention to, including DCS. The document reveals that in November of 2015, the Department of Child Safety placed the girl in a foster home on West Paradise Lane in Surprise. Someone didn't do their job. Attorney Robert Pastor claims DCS failed to type that address into the state's sex offender database. Had they done so, he says they would have seen that Jose Agarola, a level three sex offender, the worst of the worst, convicted of sexually abusing his own children, lived there. If a common citizen can go and put their address into the database to find out how many sex offenders live around him or her, why can't DCS do the same thing when placing a child in foster care? In April of 2016, the six-year-old girl, her foster parents, and Agarola, then moving to a home on West Sherman Street in Avondale. Agarola updating his address with both the MVD and DPS. He did what he was supposed to do. DCS did it. One month later, Agarola molested the foster child in the middle of the night. The nature of the abuse is horrific. Too horrific to describe, a judge sentencing him to 20 years in prison. But Pastor says that is only half the battle. Mr. Agarola, he registered, and that's why we have that system, and, and they didn't even use it. Attorney General Mark Burnovich, DCS Director Gregory McKay, along with three other DCS employees, are listed in the notice of claim. Pastor says they played a role in placing the young girl in the home where a convicted sex offender lived. DCS was in the best position available to prevent it from happening. DCS tells the 12 News I team it doesn't comment on pending litigation. The Office of the Attorney General has not responded to our multiple requests for comment. Bianca Bono, 12 News.